You greeted President Bush when he returned to the White House that night uh, before he addressed the nation. Give us a sense of uh, how he was feeling and reacting, uh, what his initial response was and thinking about what the United States should, should do. He was really quite calm and um, and resolute and steely. Um, I remember thinking that he was angry, we all were, but that uh, the emotion that I would describe was resolute. Uh, we've now got to go about the business of doing this. He was going to address the nation. He first asked if uh, Mrs. Bush was uh, okay, and we said yes. He knew that she'd been, uh, that she was safe, but uh, he spent just a moment with her. Um, and then we went into the Oval Office and uh, he said he wanted the speech to be one of reassurance to the American people. Uh, he didn't want to do policy. He just wanted it to be about reassurance. But uh, David, you probably know that one decision that was made that night was one line which did become policy. Um, we asked uh, whether he wanted to say, if you uh, if you harbor a terrorist, we will treat you as a terrorist. Since he'd said he wanted to be about reassurance, I said to him, Mr. President, are you sure that you want to say this? And he said, I need to say that tonight, that warning I need to give tonight. And I was asked to make sure that Colin and Don and others were comfortable with that line. But uh, that one line, which would become known as the Bush Doctrine, uh, it was decided it really in a few minutes uh, standing in the Oval Office before he went in to speak to the nation. 